The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 151. NASDAQ up 52. S&P's up 15. Gold contract up $7.90 trading 1890. We got silver up at 29 cents, $26.53 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 20 cents. $48.20 a barrel, notes and bonds. They're doing it again, folks. So last two days, they rejected lower price. We started down. Both days rejected lower price. This morning, we were down again. Bottom line, 10 years flat again, 137.29. The 30 years down two at 172.19. And King Dollar, King Dollar's breaking its lows, folks. Down 364, trading 89.629. The Euro's at 122. That's breaking topside. The yen is breaking downtown, meaning getting stronger, 10302, and the British pound's breaking topside, 136 to one U.S. dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Good Wednesday morning. Good Wednesday morning. Good. You know, I was just going to mention it's just interesting, man. As I was just jumping through equities, the different equities and and how they're moving this morning with some of the tech stocks, I was like, man, Microsoft in particular, pick in particular, right, selling off, man, for to 223 from 226. Um, Apple shares selling off about a dollar fifty, and then I'm not sure why you have Disney up almost five dollars and fifty cents right now. Uber up two point five percent right now. Zoom. You picked some good stocks, man. <laughs> well, they hung up for a while. It's you know, and and there's rotations going on. Obviously, there's there's buying and selling of different equities in terms of what's happening here. You have two days left in the year. Yeah, something always to consider when we've had an index like the Nasdaq up forty plus percent. Um, taxes might play a decision not might they will to what degree right in some of these decisions as we come into the year or the beginning of the next year sure so if we take a look at disney folks i mean this is almost it's not coming out of nowhere but i mean people are banking on the stream and there's no doubt it's a, it's a brave new world man and we're all and the streaming and you know when i was listening to your program it has to do with the aspect of how many millions of people are going to pay subscription rates i mean that we the subscription business is where it's at and oh. if you if you look at disney now watch this folks okay I'm not even going to take the lows of it, but when you just technically, when you just take this, you know, now normally when you break out of a consolidation, you can take the high and take the low, but I'm not even going to, not even going to take the March low because it's like it went down so dramatically. Sure, sure. But if I take the high, which is that 153 One. that it broke out of, and yep. then I just, you know, take where it was trading down here. Okay, nice. so sure. let's, uh, what is that? One. 19. 108, 113, we 110 108. area. Okay, so that's still 40 bucks, right? 40 bucks, 110 right. to 150. Perfect. Right, and you take 40, that's 193. That's that's a it normal, might, you know, and that I'm not taking the low <laughs> because it, of the spike, but it's powerful, I, man. And look at the volume, I mentioned, man. Because, I mentioned in my newsletter, I think the next stop's just $200 because it's so it close. Is. Now that, that's when we're at 180, so I made a video on Christmas Eve. Folks, if you want to come over and try a trial of the newsletter, um, it's just remarkable, man. And, the, and and it was making the bullish case of why, you know, we got into this equity at, she's like 118, man. And we're still in it at 172, right? Okay. And we're still in it at 172 at a period of time when they've already come out and say in at 2024 that they might have upwards of 350 million subscribers. Right. But the stock at that point was only at 172. And you just brought up that it was trading at 153, prior to covid right and you know i just walked through in the video how how the expectations went from literally 10 to 20 million in the first year yeah to to you know 60 to 90 million over maybe four to six years four years um so they're way ahead of expectations so it's it's i mean it's it's just it keeps you know they're still being very hampered rightfully so yeah. in the short term by california the parks aren't even open amc just offered 50 million more shares today right because they can't put anybody in a movie theater um florida parks i'm not going to disney world right now in orlando people are but not to any degree like they were so there's sure. still that hampering on right. things as in in the long run i think this stock with when all things are back to normal should be far above the 153 that things were at prior to covid 
when they've surpassed even then expectations so much, man. Because like you said, 300, 350 million people paying on a monthly basis. <laughs> Seriously. And they're going to, they, you know, you're going to have the ability like Netflix And they have shown. all the kids' movies too, man. I mean, you talk, you're talking about bringing a whole, you know, the, the younger generations in. And folks, it's really easy to get Tommy's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see Rocket Equities and Options. You just hit that banner. You hit subscribe. Bottom line is you can get it for one month for $97. Six months for $4.99, which is a savings of $133 or 22%. A year for $7.85, which is a savings of $379 or 32%. Now, as you go over there, as soon as you get it, folks, okay, you're going to get those videos that Tommy's talking about. So sure, check it I'll out. Say it, was, it was a Christmas Eve uh, update for subscribers. So, you, you, you know, any newsletter, you automatically gain access to all the archives. So Christmas Eve. And uh, I even know because I pointed it out to. Ho, ho, to, ho. To, so that's right. And I had a little Santa icon in there, man. It was a good video. I enjoyed it. And uh, I go over some of those fundamentals because it's pretty cool. What I did was just so I brought up news articles, right? From yes. Last November, from March, from May. I mean, you had people in May making bullish cases that they might get 90 million subscribers by the end of 2021. And they just did that by the end of 2020. And that was in May when we already knew that people were going to flock to it because of the restrictions and sure. stuff like that. So yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Wow. The, yeah. Uh, if we take a look at this market, so, you know, we still have divergence out here. And this is what it is, folks, okay? The dollar is getting slammed this morning. Now, gold's up $8, but that's not a lot compared to where the dollar is right now. Silver's up 30 cents. That's not a lot. But let me show you something. Now, we, we happen to own the stock, okay? But we get a monster ABC up in Freeport Mac Moran. This thing is just taken off. And yeah. it's a clean ABC up. I, I suspect we're going to get the, the volume because we get 9 million right now and need 31 million. Um, now, this has to do with copper and gold. I mean, they, this is a copper and gold company, period. Uh, you know, huge copper company. You know, well, huge gold company. It's, it's a huge company in general. Uh, but this is really intriguing because it's like there's like nothing out here, Tom, that would say that, OK, why is this stock up a buck 80? Do you know what I'm saying? I you listen. It's almost the same with Disney right now, yes. which is interesting. Right. Right? Um, right. You know, but it's the trends that we're looking at and and, and people are starting to put some bids behind it. That's yep. what I think in they're, Disney, you know, I say money behind it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That, that they they're just seeing opportunities. Maybe they're seeing stocks getting ahead of themselves. A little bit of a rotation. That might be why you have some of the stocks selling off so quickly this morning. Some of them going up so quickly without really a rational. Why is Microsoft tanking and Disney going up right. five dollars and fifty right. cents? And how about know? Bitcoin, right? Oh, <laughs> so check every this day, out. man. That, I, so Bitcoin, folks, is 28000 I went over to the CME this morning just to see if what it would cost to shot Bitcoin. Okay. So, so listen to this, folks. So it's trading at 28000 How much do you think it costs for a contract to buy or sell Bitcoin? 18000 39000 You got to put up more. Listen to this. This is sick. You got to put up thirty nine thousand to trade a twenty eight thousand dollar contract. Yeah. Is this like an oil phenomenon that actually that has to do with delivery and it could go negative? Are we going to see negative? It's uh, you know I, I, I of course didn't do it. Do you know what I mean? I no. looked. I oh, says okay. Think, but but okay. that and then, <laughs> so that's that's how worried they are at the exchanges. I, I think it's been like that for a while. It's a sixty percent premium that they want Maybe. over the fact. Yeah. Maybe after the break, we can pull up the yeah. futures um, on your Bloomberg, just yeah. because some of those statistics are uh, pretty cool, man. I, well, but you we know, I had to pull it up on the CME. I couldn't even find it on the, I pulled it up on the CME. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Stay nice. right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 117, NASDAQ up 35, S&P's up 9.5. We'll come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Do you have broken or unwanted jewelry, diamonds, watches, coins, silverware, and other collectibles that you would like to turn into cash? Tiger Precious Metals and Stones will pay fair market value. We make it easy to turn your precious metals that are sitting around in your house into cash. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245, and he will walk you through our safe and secure process. Andy has been in the business buying and selling precious metals for over 15 years. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 127. Nasdaq's up 42. S&Ps are up 11 and a half. And I did find it on, on uh, the, uh, the Bloomberg. So this is what it is, actually. It's, it's not what I said. It's, I thought this was on one Bitcoin. So you, you can, the initial, it looks like it's uh, approximately 30% you're putting up. 49,000 for one contract. But in one contract, you get five Bitcoin. Okay. And each tick... Each point is worth five. Yeah, that might make sense. Five bucks. Okay. And look at how they have a down limit of 19,000. I mean, that's that's actually something that, that could get hit, man. And when you just go from 10,000 to 30,000 in three yes. months, uh, 19,000, that's a 50% pullback. That's all. Um, and we know that, I mean, Bitcoin goes up 4,500. Dollars one day, it could go down ten thousand in one day, but that's pretty cool. So fifty thousand in control, one hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. Um, so I guess they're saying on a daily basis, and that's where they have the number actually to coordinate. Right. It, and it, I believe now this doesn't have it here, but when I was at the CME, I believe what happens is that as you go overnight, it had in the CME as you went overnight, you had to put up thirty percent more. Okay. Because you know? they've actually limited it. Where they can't lose money because they only let it go down 33 percent and you have about 33 percent up in equity right do you see that yeah right exactly you know, so i mean pandemonium can break in of course when you know you hit those limits everybody's down on their whole investment they have to sell they push it down further but it is interesting the down limit is basically where the the people would run out of equity <laughs> yeah pretty intense man yeah look at the volume man is this this is a good volume here Eleven thousand contracts that's not bad and so here, here's the spread. See the spread at the top? The spread's not bad either. Look at this. The spread is, uh, well, that's uh, 25 bucks. No, 35 bucks. That's, that's, that's not bad when you're talking about <laughs> right? a five-digit. You know, and it, it would be, if it was a $28 stock, it would have a three penny. It would be $28.58 and $28.61. You'd have a three penny bid ask if it was $28.58. So, I know. Yeah, right. That's, that's great. It is. Pretty wild, man. You know, I saw an article, I was trying to find it, and an NFL player out here talking about that he's getting paid in Bitcoin, and he's he has a little nuance, but he's getting paid, and he, they're transferring it into Bitcoin, um, half his salary. What, what I'd love to know, what it didn't have in that article, is that did he get paid at the beginning of the year, or is he getting paid now? 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yes. That, I, I, it, that's yes. a great article. He was, he's taking half his pay in it, man. It was 28 he sure million. He's taking 14 million in Bitcoin or something. Yeah. Here we go. So I got it up. Um, Russell Okung. So 13 million. This guy's not a nobody, man. Yeah. 13 million. So six and a half million a year. And the NFL came out and said, no, he, not Tom, it's, it's 26 million. He's taking 13, I think, in, in Bitcoin. That's how insane it is. No, it's it's fifty percent of his. Oh, I see. Okay, salary. okay, six and a half so million. Okay, cool. Okay, that's that's a decent chunk on a yearly oh, basis sure, to plow man. into that yeah. market, right? Yeah. Um, but I I agree. When 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 did it happen? Yeah. Um, if if it happened at the beginning of the season, this guy made a fortune, man. Because he just tweeted this uh, yesterday, paid in Bitcoin, and there's you know, so that's that's maybe I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, you know, he's he's been a champion of this for a long time, though, in terms of. Yes. So he he being that wealthy, being so, you know, even if he didn't have access to the capital, right, there's sure. ways to I'm sure he's had some money because May of. Yeah. He tweeted back in May of 2019 that he wanted to be paid in Bitcoin. So I, I imagine he's had some money available personally to put some into that over that time, no matter what, man. Oh, so this, yeah. It's remarkable to think how much money some people have made in Bitcoin, man, when you go from. Remember, it was at two hundred dollars for a while. You're now at a hundred bagger. If you bought some Bitcoin at two two hundred and something that it sat at for a while, you made a hundred times your money. Whew. There was an article yesterday in the Wall Street Journal, folks. Okay, this is a guy took twenty three thousand dollars and bought options on Tesla and made two million. And I believe it. The, the I mean that is a trade, folks. Okay. I believe and it. They, These interviewed, moves have been... they interviewed the guy, and the guy said that, yeah, I have everything I want now. And, I mean, he's still buying Tesla, and he's still buying options, man. So God bless the guy. Um, pretty wild. Let's I, mean, take... option... See, I was just going to say, options don't price in a move from, you know, $70 to $600 in the same year. So no, <laughs> exactly, just... exactly. Yeah. Crazy. Let's take a look at uh, Chang. Uh, Kango, maybe. Yeah, Kango. Okay, the operator platform is a service company, offers automotive uh, transaction service platform that connects dealers, financial institutions, car buyers. Okay, so this is a Chinese stock. The low is 420, the high is 14. Okay, so you got a nice personality stock here one day it trades from nine dollars to 34 and goes back to nine <laughs> so these stocks here folks th this is strictly uh bottom line uh you know a day trading stock if that's what you want to do um you know we'll see where this goes but it had volume yesterday man got to get up to ten dollars and closed at uh, 8.75 it's pulling back to that breakout area, though. We'll see where this shakes out. I yeah. mean, the, these are the, you're going to see a lot of these, I mean, because the bottom line is that with the whole Robin Hood crew and sites that are out there, um, that's what you have happening. And, you know, there's, yep. there's no doubt you get, you get a stock going, man, um, you know, and it's like hard to comprehend how can people get it going, but they get it going every day. You know, there's always they another sure stock do. that they get going, man. So, I mean, think about the type of money it takes to keep tesla trading at these levels when you're talking yes. about the price tag on that and it's and it's you know the volumes dropped off dramatically from that big day we had um on december 18th but you're still doing it, 32 million shares 22 million shares of almost a thousand dollar equity to you know yeah there's no doubt and yeah. you know what do, what does happen and and this is where that the larger players folks okay if you have you know, if you're an institution and, you know, bottom line is that they're trading, um, they, they have a lot of money, they'll trade these larger stocks because they're looking at the number of dollars that are coming in. They're looking at percentages, too, but because their accounts are so large, intraday, you know, they can leverage up 10 to 1, at, you know, as a portfolio margin. Now, they'll close it, but you can see when, you, you know, it's not that... It's not easier, but large institutions like day trading, large, like Amazon stocks. Why not? Do you know what I mean? Because they're just looking for moves. You know what I mean? Sure. If you get a 5 or 10 or $50 move, well, that's a $50 move, and you're going to be out at the end of the day. It's not like they're not investing at all. It's, I'm not, sure. You know, but you want movement, well, you know, a big number can give it to you a lot more, man. There's no doubt. What day is today? Wednesday? Today's Wednesday. We got one more. Tomorrow oil. it's New Year's Eve. Right. We got oil. We got oil coming out. Yeah. Oh, we we probably do have let's oil coming out. Let's take a look. Out. Let's say live. We're not going to get to. Um, 
Did I miss it? Yeah, but that's all right. We'll, we'll pull up and see what the number are. Number is. Where are I? Oh, crude oil. Yeah. Oh. No. Interesting. No. So you know what they? This might. I. I remember some. This might be the. This is a holiday between Christmas and New Year's. Oh, they don't just. So don't. I think that was the. Yeah, I think that was the last. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! Look, like they it. have natural gas coming up. No, it's closed. Yeah. Twenty-three hours tomorrow. Natural gas. Yeah. Uh, hit the one on. Hit number twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. It is coming out. All right. Yep. It's. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. It's coming out. There it is. Okay, it's just closed for guessing. Perfect. So they're looking. Their survey numbers uh, a draw of 3 billion. Yep. Uh, the whisper number is 1.4. Stay nice. right there, folks. Tommy and I are going to come right back. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow up 147. You get the Nasdaq up 55. S&Ps are up 13. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was like a replay of uh, the market open yesterday. Market opens, sell it off a bit, and then kind of goes sideways all day. And you'll see where this shakes out. But uh, that's what it seems to be uh, doing again this morning out here. Yeah, you know, it's just interesting to me. I keep looking at kind of the relationships between some of these indices, right? You have, you know, the Russell had sold off so dramatically. Yes. 
from 2032 to 1950. You're talking about 80 points. You're talking about 4% between Monday and Tuesday. The Russell gives back at the same time as you pull up maybe the NQs and Monday we were trading from 12.7 to 12.9. So the NQs went up 200 percent, excuse me, 200 points, like 1.5 percent. The Russell pulled back 4 percent. And then, of course, you get today a reversal of that because the Russell man shoots out of the gate up 26 points from where we were at 930. And you have the NQs sell off 100 points. Just cool to see those relationships and, and to take note of a man for sure. And, you know, when we talk about the Alibaba deal, right? Well, Penn Dewey Dewey. <laughs> uh, Pen duo duo uh, PDD. This thing's up like twenty five percent in five Is days. I mean, yeah, I heard. You, oh, it's continuing. I heard you talking about it on your show yesterday. Uh, look yeah. at this. I mean, uh, yeah, five trading days ago, it was trading at uh, one thirty six. You're at one seventy four twenty four. That's and two months ago, it was at sixty nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, j jumping to uh, Baba on the same, you know, just China, I found it so interesting that this stock went all the way from 211 back to almost 245. For some context, we were at 255 before we got the news that China was potentially going to, like, break it all up. Yeah. I and you did sell off a little bit today, but that's a quick clawback. I would be I would be letting that play out a little bit longer to see if they deserve the valuation they have, if China is going to kind of always be modern and, and making sure that they're not getting too big. Yes. I, I, you know, and you know, I had read an article. So look, look, watch this. This is this this where this gets wild. So ten cent does that ten ten cent still got to trade, right? Ten cent. Or did someone buy it? That happened. There it is. No, let's see. Uh, is it? I got it up as like a ADR T. Oh, you do. T Wait, what's the? TC. Yeah, T C E H Y. T okay, so let's look at this. There we one. go. T E C H Y because uh, T C E H Y. Okay. That's it. T C E H Y because what had happened a couple of years ago is that China was all over this too, and then they just came right out of it. And and, and I don't know if it's down there, but China was all yeah. over them. And then, I mean that's a healthy pullback. That's yeah, a fifty percent pullback from sixty to thirty in a yeah, year. And so. then just took off again, man. <laughs> There's just so many people in China, man. You, you get something going in China, then you know it's. And that's why Baba, man. You yeah. know they're 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 probably piling back in because they're saying, okay, you know what? It's not going to be maybe the story we thought. It's going to be at three twenty. But guess what? China needs them. They're going to grow. They're just not going to grow as fast as maybe we thought. Right. Right. Yeah. And and then you know if they get into the banking business. And they stay under the regulation. I, I don't expect Jack Meyer is going to start yapping again. You know? No. I just don't see it. <laughs> At least yeah. not when he's in China, man. No. Yeah. As in if that's, yeah. And yeah. if he's not in China, well, then they can take the whole company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. Unless, yeah. I hey, did, I, you know, that was terrible. I, you know, I heard you talk about this congressman, folks, 41 years old. And I'm sure there's, you know, what we don't know, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other 41-year-olds that passed away folks with covid but man uh, just seeing a young guy like that you know uh, he just got elected congressman very sad and, i know talk about the highlight of his just dead like yeah, man this... at the beginning of a of a career man, yeah uh, th this thing is like russian roulette man i'm telling you gotta be, you it's you, gotta you be just careful, don't man. know you know who gets hit how hard they get hit and there's all these different deals man it's Pretty weird, man. Sad deal. You. Wife, two young kids, oh. and uh, 41 years old, I know. Sad, Sad deal. Crazy. Totally. So, yeah, the Nasdaq's, uh, you know, basically getting a little weak here. You know, and tomorrow, yeah. we'll see, you know, tomorrow is going to be the last day of, uh, you know, basically getting out of uh, equities. And yet, you want to hear something that's really crazy, right? You know, years ago, folks, okay, it was always a settlement of three days. So, you never run into this. Now, you get a settlement, same day settlement. So years ago, what would end up happening is that you have to sell three days earlier because the settlement was three days later for I taxes. Gotcha. Now, guess what? You can sell at three fifty nine. Well, you can sell at four fifteen tomorrow. It doesn't matter as long as you're sold. Yeah. Um, you know. So we'll see where this basically shakes out. And People that, think that's about what it. might be going with Microsoft and Apple. I mean, they've up so dramatically. I, People are saying, "Hey, I, man, take a few." Bucks. I agree. Yeah. It's you know, there's there's those forces how they're in play, but they're in play and they're, and they're yeah. a factor. For right, sure, because right. it's, it goes both sides of it, too. Um, and you just might have people deciding to rotate ahead of that. Right. So it's not the it's not the action itself. It's like one level deeper. Right. Yes. It's people saying, I don't want to be the one who waits for everybody to sell Microsoft 
on the first, I'm selling it today. Well, so the people sell, you know what I mean? It's the step ahead of the step that we're talking about that's a result of it anyway. And uh, if, if the, uh, the biggest equation that I have to that, right, right folks, goes back to 2000. What had happened on January 3rd of, of 2000, that was one of the biggest down days. Everyone, we went from 1999, uh, great market, and then kaboom. That's when, you know, Qualcomm, I think, went down 200 points. It was trading at okay. 800 points. I mean, it was like a disaster. Um, snapped back a little, but that was, that was the end of the NASDAQ. Uh, and, you know, it's hard to comprehend. The, you know what's so crazy about that is that when you look at, and this is something that everyone should really just understand. Amazon went down 95%. <laughs> Amazon. Yeah. Right? I think it went to $2.21 or something. Yeah. So bottom line, uh, you know, pretty, pretty intense when you, when you think about the whole aspect. Um, and then, of course, $2.10 to up to, well, up to what? Up to... Uh, 3300 and I have it I can't even find it I put it on a monthly but you were in the area yeah so here we go what, what year am I in 2000 yeah. you're at 110 and you pull back to single digits to a low of five five where am I 551 maybe that would um, be and right. you're at 33 yeah, 95 percent yeah uh, 90 it was a yeah. 95 yep. percent pullback. there you go 100 to five dollars <laughs> and geez what's the return multiple on five dollars <laughs> to 3315 dollars well I know, the return mul multiple is you're the richest man in the world there you go <laughs> and, well the thing that's wild is that you get what, you, what i'd like you to understand is that you can go to higher highs and lower lows and in both cases it's whacked out you know so value and equities you know Whatever way you want to value them, value them that in your head it's clear to you because we all value them differently, right? You know, that oh, valuation that, there was just greed, I think. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, and it, it was. It was it was getting ahead of itself at 100 for sure, and even at 5, you know, it probably wasn't accurately right. predicting the possible future. But it was, all, it was all just a story at that time and a belief in the company, kind of the way Tesla, right? As in, they weren't making money. They weren't, that was, that was early 2000s. Sure. There were a lot of companies that fizzled out. They just had the management, the, the expertise, the yeah. whatever it is, right, to, to rise above. And, and there you go. Yeah, and you can see yeah. that, you know, when you look back at Tesla, you know, Musk was an animal, man. He slept, when he slept at those, at those tents, that, that was the low point. And guess what? He wasn't going to let that company go down, man. You know, so pretty, it's pretty cool when you think about it. And he's like number two on there on the list, right? Yeah. Two or three, right. at least, right? Yep. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 143. Nasdaq is up 16. S&Ps are up nine. We'll come right back, folks. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Are you looking to buy or sell gold, silver, platinum, coins, or bullion? We can help. At Tiger Precious Metals and Stones, we specialize in the buying and selling of gold, silver, as well as collectible U.S. and foreign coins. We not only buy your unwanted or broken jewelry, but you can trade that in for gold and silver coins too. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245 for a quote over the phone and to lock in the current market price. Call us now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 150. Nasdaq's up 21. S&P's up 9.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cakes. That as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at forex-trading-unlocked. That website is forex dash trading dash unlockedcom Teddy Cakes, that. What's going on, brother? Happy New Year, guys. You ready to bust the cap on the Moe and, and close out this year? <laughs> There's no doubt, Let's man. Let's do it. Happy New Year, man. <laughs> you got to love it, man. 2021 coming at us, man. Uh, so I think it's going to be just as volatile as this year, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> That's music to my ears, man. Volatility <laughs> is a trader's best friend, folks. Sure, You don't sure. need the top. You don't need the bottom. You need that fat, juicy middle. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, we got some interesting things here. You know, I've been reading a lot of what the people have been saying about the dollar lately, and I'm still going to roll with the uh, it's the pound that is the uh, reason that the dollar has been getting hit like it is. Um, and I think you can really see it right now because oh, you can yeah. mem remember, remember before how over the past couple of weeks we had some big bond moves and whatever in the 30 year and I mean, the short terms weren't moving so much, but the, the bigger ones were. Yes. So. They flatline. So now we know that interest rates is a component of all currency value. Okay. So if the interest rates aren't moving, that variable is static, right? Yeah. So I think what we have right now is remember uh, over the past few weeks, I've been saying how the pound has been strong against the euro, the Swiss, the, the yen, almost all currencies across the globe. You know, so when, it, when you really look at the dollar bear right now, it's not because of dollar weakness, it's because of pound strength, you right. know. So and even the euro now has been pushing up too. like the euro hasn't been really blasting through the highs over the past month. You know, if you really look at how it's been inching higher, you know, yep. so and, and the euro also when it, you look at it versus other currencies, it's relatively strong. However, they're starting to run out of gas versus like the Australian, the New Zealand dollar and a couple other of your lesser currency crosses. So as they roll out of that steam, I think they're going to start to lose more of their momentum. And remember, Brexit is over now. We're going to be talking post Brexit next week. I know. know. So, Pretty and this wild. is a big deal, you yeah. know. So, and I think that what we're seeing right now is not dollar weakness. It's it's pound strength, and now a little bit of euro strength, but it's mostly the pound that's driving it, you know. And you got to think about this too: is where are people putting their dollars right now? If you look at the CRB, you have wheat. Corn, soybeans, live cattle. If you look at live cattle, what it did yesterday, the gap open it had, and even though it's settled lower on the day, it's floating up in the sky, you know. So oil is up, gold's up, you know. So where is money going? It's not the dollar is a bear. It's just that people are putting the dollar elsewhere, you know. Yeah, I mean, to my, my take is that we get a commodity bull happening here, man. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, we'll see where this shakes out. Uh, but it, it seems that... One by one, these commodities, man, are moving. Um, you know, I haven't traded cattle. Inflation in a long could explode so next year. Cattle, cattle's one fourteen a pound right now. Interesting, man. 
Now, yeah. now think think about this. They had a big push about how they wanted to have like all the um, food producers, like the Purdue, a bunch of meat packers and stuff, about getting their employees vaccines at the same time as the front line of, um, you know, people in the hospitals because we have packing plants that had all kinds of. Dis- we just lost them. Oh, he'll come back. Yeah, you know made it to market because they had no place to store it. They had no place to deliver it to, yes. you know? So, so now we're looking at, we have some shortages in our carryover, you know, and then we had the big grain deal with the Chinese. They're all taking delivery this month and next month, you know? So that means our storage, our, our, our car- carryover is decreasing at a very alarming rate going into a year where we don't have any transparency on how well, I mean, the, 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 the farmers and ranchers are still going to be working. The question is, is this product going to get to market? You know, it's not a shortage because there's a lack of it. It's just a lack of ability to produce it and um, along the, uh, the supply chain, you know. So and I think these are going to be big issues, and that's why the, you're going to see this continuing growth in the CRB, which is going to hammer the dollar especially. No, I know. Well, and, and look at the yen. I mean, the yen looks like it mm-hmm. wants to make a run to 101, man. If it ever does, right? it's going to be like, whoa, watch out, man. You know? Right. Yeah. Well, you've been you've been you've been watching the yen and the gold market for years. Yeah. Now, most traders don't know that wheat actually is a big indicator of direction in the yen because when you start to have wheat get very costly, okay. you're going to have a yen move. Interesting. You know? So, wow. yeah. So and they're lining up. I think we're having the a nice little storm where now we're going to have inflation come into the marketplace next year, and it's not just because of you know things are going up; it's because of the fact that cost of everything's going up and that's why you see like the australian dollar doing well right now yeah if commodities are going up the australian dollar is strong so it's not about dollar weakness that's going on your commodity producing countries and stuff like that are getting a boost exactly exactly well look at freeport mac marin today is breaking out big time man sure you know sure that thing is up a buck 85 and it's, there's not even any news on it. I mean, you know. Right. Uh, so it's in that, folks, okay, the, you know, their big minds are in Indonesia, but it's all about Australia there, too. There, there's no sure. doubt. Sure. Yeah, the amount of. And, and Australia had such a slowdown from 2020. Think about how ready they are to get the things pumping again. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, big so, time. And, it, yeah. you know, we'll see. You know, you know it's intriguing as, as um, uh, Teddy's talking, folks, okay? You know, for longer, you know, if if we're right in the, the deal that you get a commodity bull, uh, folks, you start looking at Brazil, man, because Brazil will be next, man. You know, once once the thing gets on fire, man, Brazil mm-hmm. has so many commodities, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Well, and speaking of Brazil, look at coffee. Coffee yeah. also because of the, they're looking because of sunspot activity and weather patterns. The price of coffee is supposed to go through the roof this year because wow. everywhere in the world, especially Brazil, they're going to look at the conditions are not going to be favorable for coffee. Amazing. It's and then you have the fact that the, the dollar is being so weak, right. so that means it's going to it's going to cost more to buy the coffee that they that they do have. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> it's so I know pretty cool how it works, right? <laughs> yeah, well, the one dollar cup of coffee at McDonald's might be ending next year. <laughs> I'm gonna load up on some coffee, get some Bogo so, coffee, stuff it away. Right, totally. <laughs> exactly. We might have to check the Big Mac index at, in, uh, next week to see where that is too, to see how the market's gonna fare. Well, you know what's so funny is that you're talking about coffee. It, it's amazing that we're also used to Starbucks and all these big chains, and Folgers mm-hmm. is still the largest coffee company in the world. It's like <laughs> so weird, right. and you don't even like Folgers. Like that's like 50 years ago, but. Right. Me and one of my associates the other day, we're we're up and we're talking about coffee in general, and he says to me, "Folgers is the biggest one." I says, "Folgers, man, Jesus." Who doesn't like mountain grown coffee? I know, man. (laughs) (laughs) It was just funny. It was. uh, I was in shock that that was still the biggest coffee company in the world, man. You know, we all. How are they? How are they the biggest coffee company in the world? Do they they sell more coffee? They then, they own I, I just, almost every brand there is that we buy. That's all the restaurants, all the yeah. Let's see when you Google they're it. They're asleep. I didn't know that. They must have made all the right moves and no one was paying attention. Yeah, and they have a million different brands. And I, I guess mm-hmm. the, the biggest thing is that we we don't really don't understand is that it's all the institutions that buy all the huge amounts of coffee, and that's what we're drinking. Right. You know what I mean? Sure, so a commercial. Like, yeah, they're yeah. just buying a, a right. The, not to say the cheapest, but yeah, basically the basic product on the market. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Interesting. That was quick, man. Holy cow. Yeah, it was. That was. Well, happy new year, guys. You guys have a nice uh, you holiday. Have a great and I look one, forward safe to the new one. year with you guys. We're going to make Thanks 2021 so much, Teddy, you a too. great one, Teddy. 
Thanks. Happy New Year, brother. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar's worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh Oil. So uh, they, uh, we had a, quite a drawer in oil, man. They were looking for a medium estimate of 3.1 million barrels. They got 6, uh, 6 million barrels. So, yeah, I'm pulling up the chart right now. A little bit of volatility. I'm zooming in on 1030. So we're up about 15, 18 cents, but catching a little bit of it and making intraday highs above where we were. Um, I mean, oil, one of the stories of the year, man, ending the year at around $49 after negative prices, right? Remarkable. That, that is remarkable. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, you are going to see our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, uh, right in featured content, the opening call. Well, this is, uh, let's see, what you got till tomorrow. Basil's going up on his, well, first off, uh, let's talk about his newsletter. Basil's got an outstanding newsletter, folks, okay? Great newsletter. Right now, the, the price is $128 for one month. Five ninety five for six months, which is a savings of one hundred and seventy three bucks at twenty two percent for a year it 's nine ninety five you save five hundred and forty one dollars or thirty five percent now these all come with a thirty day money back guarantee when when you get this you 're getting a true you must well be getting a book now i mean i he has like what eight or nine workshops that are archived right 
He sure does. And I know Basil wants to put one together early in the next year as well. But he's got, I think it's seven, seven, eight, nine archived webinars that are instantly available along with the archive of um, all of his updates, of course, for subscribers. Man, he puts out at least one update over the weekends, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, sometimes both days. Every single morning he's putting out charts, analysis for subscribers with trades. Uh, great educator. So, yeah, you can let for those current subscribers out there. I've gotten a couple emails. You do nothing. If you're in Basil's newsletter, sir service folks you you lock in that rate for as long as you're a subscriber and uh for anybody that signs up you do the same thing and it comes with a money back guarantee so give it a try no matter what you cancel you don't like it if you like it you lock in the rate that's going to be gone and as Friday. one of our tigers say in the den i've had basil's newsletter for years worth every penny and more and it's a fact folks perfect stay right there folks think of swim coming up next tom i can't believe how fast this hour went man time folks. one more show one more show have a great one folks thanks pal Perfect.